All right. Well, if you have your Bibles, let's go ahead and open those up to Proverbs chapter 18. We're going to be looking at Proverbs 18, verse 21. And uh, this week, we're going to do a devotional series on the tongue, the tongue, uh, our words, the words that we speak. You know, let me ask you a question. You know, what, what, what do the words that you speak, what do they do in the lives of others around you, right? Uh, and what are the words you speak? What are the words that you allow to come out of your mouth? Do they please God? And also, what do the words that you speak, uh, you know, how do they affect uh, others coming to know Christ or growing in their walk with the Lord, or do they break them down? And we're going to see that this week. We're going to look at five different areas of Scripture. And, uh, you know, if you feel like, uh uh-oh, a lot of these devotions have been kind of convicting, Pastor Bill. Now we're talking about the tongue and the words that I speak. I'm going to be done in. Listen, uh, there's grace, there's mercy, and the beauty of God's word is that it allows us to, uh, it, we put God's truth into us. We, God gives us revelation about his word, and then the Holy Spirit will use the, the word of God to bring about change in our lives. So the first work, verse we're going to look at, Proverbs 18, verse 21, it says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Solomon says here, death and and life are in the power of the tongue. And listen to this. And those who love it will eat its fruit. Those who love it will eat its fruit. You know, what's interesting about the tongue, and we see it here, and it's a reminder, uh, you know, maybe you could read this later, Romans 10, verse 9. That's the verse that Paul the Apostle writes to the church in Rome, and he says, he says that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You know, according to God's word, the tongue is one of two instruments that God uses that you and I have to activate in order to be saved. The tongue and our hearts. You know, both of them, the tongue and our hearts, the world, the flesh, and the devil wants us to believe that we have no control over what we say and we have no control over what we feel, right? But the Bible actually says, no, that's not true. They're both instruments. They're both instruments in my hand. And and the scriptures here tell us death and life are in the power of the tongue. This word death in the Hebrew is maveth. And it's literally the word Hades, pestilence or ruin. You know, um, later on in the week, we're going to see in James, James is going to talk about the tongue and how it's like the rudder on a ship. You know, death, our tongues have the power to bring about a a spirit or a feeling of death around us, of ruin. You know, something can happen to us and we can either get better because of it, right? A trial could happen and we could grow because of it or we could get bitter. We can get bitter. And a lot of it has to do with what's going to come out of our mouth. What are we going to talk about? How are we going to communicate it? right? Death, but then also life, it says, is in the power of the tongue. The word life here in Hebrew is kai. Uh, If you've ever been around Jewish people, there's a phrase, lachayim, right? Life to life, lachayim. And this is that word. This is the root of it, kai, life. It means to be alive. It's a fresh plant. You ever had a plant that hasn't been watered and all of a sudden it looks like a plant, you know, but then you pick it up and it's very light. It's dead, It's dying. It needs fresh water. And the water is the word. Listen, death and life are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will eat its fruit. Those who have affection for this. Those who realize, listen, my tongue, God's given me my tongue to worship the Lord. God's given me my tongue to pray and cry out to God. God's given me my tongue to encourage others around me. And God has given me my tongue to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know, the world wants us to spread its message. But you and I are called to spread the message of Jesus Christ. And death and life is in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will eat its fruit. I pray that you will eat of the good fruit that flows from a tongue that is used as an instrument for God's glory. 
And Father, we do thank you for your word. God, we do pray, remind us that in the power of our tongues, we have the power to bring ruin. We have the power to bring pestilence. We have the power to bring, to bring depression. Or we have the power to bring l'chaim, Lord. We have the power to bring life into others' lives. If we would talk to them about Jesus and encourage them from the word. So, Father, we pray we would do that today. And we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen.